Hello friends I welcome you all again to the chess kingdom I am Gautam and I am international federated chess player In our last video we have learned about the name of each chess piece and its location over the chess board In this particular video we are going to learn about how these pieces move how they capture and their superiority over the other pieces If you haven't liked or subscribed my channel yet then you like and subscribe now so that you don't miss any of my updates and videos So let's move ahead The first piece which we will talk about is this rook. It moves any number of squares along the horizontal rows also called as ranks and any number of squares along these vertical columns also called as files and can occupy any square along its movement but it cannot jump. The rook captures in the direction of its movement the highlighted squares which you can see on this chessboard. are the ones which this rook is controlling it can capture any opponent piece if that opponent piece happens to occupy these highlighted squares which are controlled by this rook if you carefully observe the number of squares which are controlled by this rook which is shown and the highlighted squares then you can say that there are total 14 number of squares which this rook under consideration is controlling So just to have a comparison of its importance over the other pieces it is assigned 5 points. The next piece which will we talk about is this bishop. The bishop moves any number of squares along the diagonals as can be seen by this red colored direction and the green colored direction. But same as rook it cannot jump. Similar to rook bishop also captures in the direction of its movement the highlighted squares which you can see over the chess board are the squares which this bishop is controlling it can capture any opponent piece if it happens to come in the highlighted squares if you carefully observe this board when the bishop is kept at the center it controls a total of 13 number of squares and just to have a comparison over its importance with the other pieces it is assigned a total number of as 3 points now you all must be thinking ki if a rook controls 14 squares and is being assigned as 5 points and the bishop on the other hand controls 13 squares that is just one square less then why its importance is only 3 points don't you think it is less but the answer is no the reason is very simple if you carefully observe the board though the rook controls only one square more than the bishop it controls both the white as well as black colored square whereas the bishop can controlled either of the colors that is either white colored square or black colored square in other words you can say that a rook in a particular game can switch the colors of the squares it occupies whereas the bishop cannot and that is the main reason why the rook is considered to be a more significant piece than the bishop under consideration the next piece which we will talk about is queen it can said to be as a combination of a rook and a bishop that is it can move along the ranks and the files like a rook and also can move along the diagonals like a bishop queen also captures in the same direction in its movement and it also cannot jump the highlighted squares are the ones which are controlled by this queen be it either the green colored squares or the red colored squares the queen can capture any opponent piece if it happens to occupy these highlighted squares which are controlled by this queen when the queen is at the center it controls a maximum of 27 squares just to have a comparison of its importance over the other pieces it is assigned 9 points as i already said that the queen is considered to be as a combination of a rook and a bishop wherein the rook is assigned 5 points and the bishop is assigned as 3 points then ideally the queen should carry 5 plus 3 that is 8 points instead of 9 points but it is not so the reason being the work done by the rook and the bishop in combination and in synchronization is done by the queen single handedly and therefore it carries one point more than the rook and the bishop in combination 
the next piece which we will talk about is called as this night the movement of the night is com is a bit complicated as compared to others the night moves two and a half squares that means it moves two squares along the horizontal followed by one square along the vertical or two square along the vertical followed by one square along the horizontal that means it's a combination of two squares and one square if the two squares is along the horizontal then the one square will be along the vertical similarly if the two squares is along the vertical then the one square will be along the horizontal if you see the green colored arrow you see the two squares is along the vertical followed by one square along the horizontal right similarly if the two squares are along the horizontal that is ranks the one square will be along the files right so this is the movement of the night its capture is also a little different than the other pieces the night can capture any opponent piece if it happens to occupy any of the eight color highlighted squares either in the green or in the red this means this knight can capture any square any opponent piece if it happens to occupy this green colored or this red colored square just to understand its importance over the other pieces it is assigned three points now we have also learned that a bishop also carries three points but it is controlling 13 squares however this knight controls only eight squares but also its importance is considered to be the same as the bishop the reason is very simple the bishop as i already said cannot jump but on the contrary the knight can jump so if you have any particular kind of a situation which is very uh, jumbled up then the knight will be more powerful than the bishop as it can jump secondly a bishop cannot switch squares during the during the game that means a white color bishop will always remain in the white squares and it can also capture any piece of the white square but on the other hand if you carefully observe this knight this knight has the possibility of switching over the squares right now it is occupying a dark colored square or a black square in the next move when it moves it can occupy any of the highlighted square and it can come over the white square again on the black again on the white this means that it can switch squares apart from jump so that is the main reason it is having uh, considered to be uh, at at par with the bishop even though it is controlling eight number of squares the next piece which we will talk about is a king the king is the most important piece of the chessboard this is this is because if the king gets captured then the game is said to be lost the king moves exactly in the same fashion as that of a queen but only limited to one single squares that means the king can move in the horizontal and the vertical directions as well as the diagonals as can be seen by the green and the red color arrows but only a single square in any directions it can also capture in the same direction as it moves the green color highlighted squares are the ones which this king is controlling as i already said the king can capture in the direction of its movement it can capture any opponent piece if it happens to occupy any of this highlighted square that is the area or the squares which is controlled by this king the next piece which we'll talk about is this pawn as we've already studied in our previous video that the pawns occupy the second row of the chessboard when it is in the untouched or the initial position if you carefully observe this green colored highlighted square or the blue colored highlighted square these are the initial position of that is the start of the game the pawn moves only along the vertical columns that is file and only in the forward direction when the pawn is at the initial position that is in when it is in the untouched position it can either move by a single square or by two squares in this first move as you can follow the red colored arrow this particular pawn is being moved by a single square 
Similarly, if you follow this green arrow, you will observe that this pawn is been moved by two squares in its first move. After the pawns have been moved, irrespective whether it has been moved by a single square or by two square, after its move, it will continue to move by one single steps at a time only. If you carefully observe this green arrow, this pawn has been moved by two square in its first move and after that it is being moved by single steps only. Similarly, if you follow this green colored arrow, you can see that this pawn is being moved by a single step and later on during the game it is going to move by increments of one one step only. As I previously said, unlike the other pieces, pawns can move only in the forward direction. The pawn moves in a way and captures in a different way. That is, pawns move along the files, that is this particular green colored or the red color, but it captures along the diagonals. If you observe this particular port, you can see that the green colored arrow is showing the direction of movement of this pawn. However, the red colored arrow is showing the uh, movement of its capture. These two red colored squares which have been highlighted is, are the two squares which this particular pawn under consideration is controlling. This means that if any opponent piece happens to occupy these two red color square, then these pawn can capture that and can occupy this square. Thus we can say that the pawns control two squares except for the first and the last column or the files as you can see by the black color highlighted column. This means that except for this pawn and this pawn, any pawns which happens to be in between these two columns controls two squares along the diagonals. However, these two columns which are at in the first and the last column is controlling only one single square. Just to have a comparison, a pawn is assigned one point. So friends, that's it for today. If you have liked my video, then do subscribe my channel. Thank you and stay tuned for my next videos.